Well, he, he's a young guy that's he cares. I mean, he he's out there right now doing stuff on his own. You know, um, he asks a lot of questions. It's it's a new position for him, but uh, Coach Finnables was re really adamant about not moving him and letting him really settle into that position. Um, we think that he can be one of our better players on defense. Um, obviously, he's very talented, um, but you know, still he's young for that position. Uh, I, I definitely think he's going to get it just because he's putting in the time, not only on the field but off the field. I uh, love his attitude. Um, he's very competitive, but at the same time, you know, he uh, he's very he's very good about taking notes and and trying to put the you know yesterday behind him and, and obviously trying to get better the next time he goes out. You know, he's one of our more experienced guys. He's he's out of out of the two deep guys. Obviously, he's played the most. Um, you know, I, I think. <laughs> You know, at the same time, though, he's played a lot of, you know, snaps. He's not played a lot of snaps at that position. And so I think, you know, he's doing better. He's getting there, you know, so to speak. But I think he's a lot like Billy. You know, there's a lot of um, a lot of learning to do from not only a call, you know, but, all, you know, from a call perspective, but also from a football perspective. Anytime you learn a new position, you're not only learning a defense, you're learning how to understand the types of plays that you're going to get on that side of the football field, whether you're a, a field safety, a boundary safety, you know, a D lineman, a linebacker, whatever it is, you know, your eyes are in a different place for the first time and, and recognizing formations and plays. Um, just, it goes into all of that. And he's doing a really good job. Again, he cares. He's asking lots of good questions. Uh, and he's going to be a really good player. Yeah, I think, it's the, I think it's the goal of the defense to get the ball back. So, I mean, if you get – I mean, that's, that's, that's the objective, right, is to get the football. I mean, it's a little bitty oblong gray leather – leather object and your job is to get the ball back so every every time that ball's in the air or that ball's on the ground or whatever that our job is to go get that football and so coach Finnables is adamant about turnovers 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 all great defenses uh, create turnovers and I think the things that he's done here in the past things he's done at Clemson obviously he's always been one of the top in the country as far as turnover goes so there's not a day goes by that he doesn't emphasize getting the ball back and and if you know if the ball's on the ground we own that football yeah I mean it's, I mean, it depends on how you look at it you know what I'm saying you you want it for them as much as they want it. So, I mean, it's always frustrating um, when they're trying to learn and you're trying to teach. But at the same time, nothing's better as a coach than watching somebody take a technique, take a call, take a coverage, apply what you say in the meeting room or, or Coach Venables, you know, installing something new or Coach Roof or whoever it is, and then watching them, you know, start to see them grow in, in, that, in that part of the game. And so, I mean, it's growing pains anytime you put a new system in. Um, you know, these guys are playing their butts off, man. They care. You know, they're bought in. Um, they're doing everything they ask of them, and it's just a matter of time. All of a sudden, that that, that light switch clicks, and you, you keep saying the same thing over, trying to trying to brainwash them, so to speak. And then, pretty soon, we're all saying the same language, going down the same road, uh, you know, doing the same thing, and it's, it becomes a really special thing when that happens. Well, I think the biggest thing is it's they know what they do, but you know, we 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 get a lot of different looks, um, you know, um, and and our offense does a really good job of tempoing the ball at certain times and doing a lot of different things. Uh, and we've seen a bunch of different things from them. And so, yeah, you're going you're gonna to install it, you know what I'm saying, versus this or versus this. Then all of a sudden you get out there and it's something completely different. Then you got to teach the adjustment off of that. And so um, one thing that we're not going to do is obviously be stagnant on offense. And because of that, as coaches, we can't be stagnant. And so it's a constant you know, maturation or whatever you want to say of learning the call, learning the defense. And, you know, just, I mean, you, you get them here in a grease board right now, they'd probably drop every single thing that they're supposed to do if people are just stagnant and do things. But at the same time, the game of football is so fluid, and it's, it's their ability to adjust and, and see something that may be a little bit off. Um, that's where we're, we're continuing to get better, I think. Well, I think attacking is the main word. You know, um, this defense that we're installing is just that, that we're trying to create a lot of issues for offenses. All right, we're going to bring pressure from a lot of different areas. Uh, never line up in this, you know, and give you what you want, so to speak. I think Coach Venables um, has made a, a trademark of, that, that of his defense doing that. And so um, when you do that, though, you've got to learn how to adjust to a lot of different looks because that's going to be the answer. Uh, I think the, the guys are excited. You know, I mean, we're, we're, we're getting sacks, we're getting stops, we're getting turnovers. It's just for us, um, just the little things, you know, just, just seeing the, the, the little nuances, the little motions, and, you know, whatever it is that's a little bit off and continuing to adjust to those things. Um, but right now they're, they're excited, man. They're, they're in there, you know, uh, during the day on their own, you know, watching film, watching practice, um, trying to get better, trying to learn the defense. And uh, I'm telling you, one day they'll wake up and it'll be like they've done it their whole lives. And, and when that happens, I think that, uh, uh, you know, the group is, is a really good group of guys. And so the, the one thing they lack is the one thing that they're going to build, and that's experience in the system. Um, you know, I've been, you know, I've been to places where you, you know, you got you to worry about culture, you got to worry about you know, this. Or that. That, that's not the issue. It's just, it's just a matter of time for those guys 
um, get it figured out. And when they do, it's going to be it's going to be really neat to watch and play. Well, it's like this, right? So anytime you're put in an uncomfortable situation in life, it's like a rubber band, right? If a rubber band's not stretched, it's what? It's useless, right? And so and these guys are out there every day, and, and our job as coaches is to stretch them, to to make them go farther than they've ever gone, to be put in a position so that when they walk out on that stadium against UTEP or the Cotton Bowl, whoever it is, man, that they've already experienced the most difficult mental aspect of the football game that they can experience. And so we've got a bunch of rubber bands, man, and they need to be stretched. And so um, that's been the main key. Like I said, it's, we're putting something on them, you know, and that's okay. That's part of the, the growing part of it. But at the end of the day, when we come out the other side of it, we'll be a lot mentally tougher football team, tougher defense um, because of that. So oh, I think anybody that's bought in and has a passion for anything will, 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 will stretch as far as they need to be stretched. Um, the way that, you know, I mean, Coach Schmidt, Coach Venables, you know, I mean, if you're all in, you're all in, right? It's like a marriage. You're going to go as far as you need to go to make it work, right? And I think those guys are in the same mindset. I think the biggest part of that is, is like, it's part of football, right? Everybody for some, at some point runs tempo, and so it's not new. I just think that what it requires you to do is you've got to come to practice ready to go, man. You can't have an off day. Um, you've got to be locked in. You've got to get the call. You've got to get lined up. You've got to execute. You've got to communicate. You've got to over-communicate because when people, and I'm talking about every offense in general, uh, when they start going fast, man, um, you know, the, the bot, you know, it's like this. And this, it comes from experience, right? So when you start playing alongside somebody after a while, you get to just the, the nuances of their body language tell you everything that you need to know about what they're going to do. And, and I think that as we, get, we go along, that's, that's the biggest key is just getting comfortable uh, playing in, the, in those situations when people are going fast and just settling in and trusting, hey, this guy's outside, this guy's inside, and this is where I need to be. I'm so old. And that's 2000, and that's 22, 22 years ago. The only thing I really remember, you know, obviously Coach Heifel was a, was a player here and then was a GA um, when I was an analyst here. The um, only thing I remember about that is after the, the national championship game, we came back, and every, there's 5,000 people out there. And he asked my, my wife if she would go to McDonald's for him because he couldn't go outside. Um, but it was, it was a cool time, man. What, he was a great player, um, an even better person. And uh, just, you know, he was the epitome of, of, of what a leader looked like. Um, I mean, of course, there's been a couple of Heisman Trophy winners since that time. But uh, we were just clicking on all cylinders at that time. And I think it was just a tribute to Coach Stoops and the culture. And obviously, um, Coach Heupel was a part of that. And uh, I think everything was cool to me back then. You know, I just had a baby that year and had just become a GA that year. And we were going to the national championship that year. It was the first time we'd been number one. And forever right so i mean it's just a lot of stuff man but i'm sure it was really cool on top of a lot of other things uh it's it just to me it's just man i, I just every day is an interview you know i, I want to do all i can to prove that i belong here i think that you know it's not just me you know coaching college football it's me coaching for my home state and all those people out there that are just like me that probably deserve the shot more than I do, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, when you're out there and you're on that football field, there, are, there is no off days for me. I got to go out. And I, and I think that's a good thing because you got to live a little bit on the edge as far as how you approach coaching. And so, I, you know, as, as much of it as it might be a curse, you know, because you feel like, man, I got to do all this and I got to be a part of this, I think it's there's nothing wrong with, with feeling like you got to prove to people every day that you belong here. I think it's a good thing. Um, as far as slowing down, uh, we're not quite there yet. Um, now that we're in spring ball, you know, you're trying to find time to meet. You're trying to find time to do, uh, you know, meetings with your players, academics, and those parts. But uh, been some cool Sundays before church um, where I've gotten up and can't believe really what I'm doing. But, uh, no, it's, it's really cool, man. It is. Like I said, I, we're, like I said, wearing this logo and actually getting to stand here and talk to you guys um, is probably one of the neater things I've got to do in my life. So. And even at the age of, what is he now, 50? How old is he now? Yeah, geez, he, he's the same as he was when he was 29, man. It's amazing. He gets up early, stays late. I'll get a text message at 1130. I'll get a text message at 530. I mean, he's all in. He's the most competitive person I've ever been around. Um, you know, he's out there. He, he sees everything, you know, and he's and, you know, and he's a big body language guy, and he always was. And so for me, he keeps me in check, you know, like I said, yeah, things are going to go bad, but the last thing he's going to allow is for us to lower our standard as, as coaches, and so it's a good thing. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.